Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and I've got an update on the Doctor Who ratings uh, debacle, situation, discussion, conversation. I don't know what to call it. So, uh, since we did our initial video talking about the Doctor Who ratings, uh, you know, media outlets have been going nuts trying to uh, trying to shoot down uh, the Daily Mail UK and the Sun. Uh, their opinion that Doctor Who ratings are dropping. Uh, we've seen several pop culture news outlets uh, sort of uh, you know, rushing to defend Doctor Who, rushing to defend Doctor Who. Uh, we did an or, or we did a uh, video last week uh, dealing with Digital Spy. Now, Digital Spy is math is making the rounds and, and apparently it's it's uh you know making the rounds of some other news outlets uh today we found this uh we got this covered here's the real story on doctor who's supposedly declining rating supposedly now okay let's let's you know read this article um the one thing you'll notice is right out of the gate right out of the gate they're very combative they're very combative about doctor who's ratings Various unsavory corners of the media were practically salivating this week at the news, in quotes, that Jodie Whittaker's first season as the Doctor was turning into a ratings disaster. The Sun and the Daily Mail claimed that ratings had plunged, in quotes, after viewers were apparently turned off by politically correct plots, in quotes, and those gross and sticky corners of the internet leapt upon these stories like rabid dogs eager for proof that they were right all along when they said Doctor Who would never work with a woman in the lead role. Um, hopefully they don't mean us. Hopefully they don't mean uh, our video was a gross and sticky corner of the internet because I actually uh, did praise Jodie Whittaker as the Doctor. I just said this series is boring. And we had a lot of people reply to our videos uh, without even watching the video. If they had actually watched the videos that we did, we have said that uh, Jodie Whittaker is fine as the Doctor. We don't have a problem with the cast. We just have a problem with the uh, direction the direction the storytelling is taking this season. And it's true. Ratings have declined from the show's premiere, The Woman Who Fell to Earth. That episode racked up a total of 10.95 million viewers, whereas by episode 5, uh, they shed more than the 3 million viewers for a total of 7.76 million. Looking at those figures alone, you might conclude that any TV show that's lost 3 million viewers is in deep trouble. But let's take a step back and look at this in a wider context. First off, The Woman Who Fell to Earth broke series records to become the biggest launch for the show in its history. That's simply not something that can be replicated every week. As well, there will always be viewers who turn in for an event episode and might not return for the show's bread and butter mid-season stories. Um, that is true. We're going to look at uh, how this compares to to other seasons of Doctor Who, but also kind of is, is showing me that I think there, there are a finite number of Doctor Who uh, fans. The exact same thing happened back in the first season of the revival in 2005, where the much hyped premiere Rose was viewed by 10.91 million viewers, but lost 4 million viewers over the course of the run. Similar drops have occurred in each and every season of the show too. On top of that, if you compare the viewing figures to previous seasons, it becomes apparent that Jodie Whittaker's doctor might actually be doing better than every other previous incarnation. Looking at average viewers per episode, the current highest rated season is in uh, 2008 with David Tennant and Donna Noble with an average of 8.05 .05 million per episode. Jodie Whittaker's Doctor is currently hitting an average of 8.55 million per episode, and while it, that could fall as Doctor Who goes on, there's no way it's going to drop to alarming levels. So, once again, don't believe everything you read, and certainly don't believe whatever you read in The Sun and The Daily Mail. Um, okay, so, yeah... Uh, here's the thing. <laughs> We're going to go out and look at the actual ratings. This is coming from Doctor Who TV, uh, dot, uh, UK, which is a pretty reliable, uh, Doctor Who site, I, I believe. Um, but let's look at the ratings. Look, uh, here's the thing. The ratings are, are trending downward. They're trending downward. And, uh, even though they're saying it's 8.05 million on average, that's consolidated. Okay, so this is this is you know I believe for the broadcast. This is how many people actually watched the broadcast or watched it on the premiere, and this is you know people who watch on tablets or whatever later. The trend, the overall trend is downward. Now there are a few spikes. It goes down from eight point two million, you know, and then it hits six point three nine, and then it bumps up a little bit to six point four three. Goes down again, goes down again, bumps up a little bit, but the overall trend is downward. Now is that alarming? 
I don't know if it's alarming, but I don't think it's it's terribly good. Um, if you go out to, if you want to compare numbers, the last time Doctor Who has seen numbers like this was definitely in, in Capaldi's era. If you look at Capaldi's, now this is a, a Series 8 for Capaldi. You can see 6.8 million, 5.2. Actually, some of Capaldi's numbers here, Season 8, um, the, the cumulative numbers are actually higher than what uh, Series 11 has been pulling in. And uh, you can see Capaldi started off, you know, pretty strong, 6.8 million. And I think at that point, people were already kind of burnt out on Doctor Who. The 50th was over. Matt Smith's final season was, was pretty lackluster, to be honest. And uh, I don't know if people were really looking forward to a more, more mature Doctor, but you can kind of see the numbers. They were dipping down into the 4 millions, you know, 5, 5. So Death in Heaven was 5.4 million, 5.45 million. Um, and the Christmas specials always do well. Now, they're not going to have a Christmas special uh, this year. The Christmas specials always tend to bump bump the uh, ratings up for the season. Again, um, Series 9, we're looking at, you know, even worse. <laughs> you know, 4, 3, uh, you know, mostly 4s. Uh, again, Christmas special, 5.77 million. Um, and then, uh, of course, Capaldi's last season, we had some, some pretty not good numbers. 4s. Uh, threes we actually had one down in the the twos now do i think that doctor who is gonna sink down to to this level uh i don't know but it's clearly not going to hit uh some of the highs that um you know hit before so let's go uh back out and check uh matt smith's last season season seven series seven uh, wasn't terribly good for Matt Smith. Actually, his ratings had dropped off a cliff, but we're seeing similar numbers to what we're seeing now. Um, you know, at the, uh, I guess we're at the three quarters mark, the three quarters mark for, uh, series 11, you know, 5.5 .5 million, 5 million, 6.18, uh, 7.6 to snowman. Again, this was, this was a, um, this was a Christmas special, 5.9 million, 5.5, um, 6.6, 5.56. Now, compare this to uh, Series 6, which actually was, was pretty popular both in the UK and in the States. And, uh, you know, we've got, uh, we've got some pretty decent numbers. 8.86 million, 7.3 million, 7.85. Uh, mostly in the, the sevens, uh, you know, one or two in the sixes, a couple in the eights. So, you know, that was kind of, I think, Series 4 through 6 was sort of the peak uh, for Doctor Who ratings. You know, again, we're just kind of... It's not a disaster, but it is trending downward. It's definitely trending downward, and it's not like it's sporadic, like we have an eight, then we have a seven, then we have a six, and we have another eight. It's it's overall trending downward. I don't know, you know, what that means. If people actually are turning off Doctor Who because they think it's too political, they're bored. In our case, it was it was boredom. Uh, I haven't even bothered checking out the, uh, the latest episode Kerblam. It actually, I've heard that it's, it's kind of a, uh, a throwback to Russell T Davies era, Dr. Who, um, Stephen Moffat era, Dr. Who. I just haven't been, I just haven't been interested enough in Dr. Who to check it out. I'll get to it when I get to it. It used to be must see TV. It is not anymore. Um, but yeah, it's very curious that uh, we have all these uh, these media outlets very quick to defend uh, the ratings. Um, and again, this is coming from one source, Digital Spy, uh, working out the numbers. But from what I'm seeing, um, you know, this is just my armchair observation. Maybe I maybe I suck at math, but it looks to me like we're basically going back to like series seven ish uh, numbers for Doctor Who, and they continue to drop. So I'm thinking season twelve. If they don't kick it up a notch uh, by season 12, we might be back down firmly in the Capaldi era, um, which isn't good. I mean, I don't think they're going to cancel Doctor Who. I don't think they're going to cancel it. But, uh, you know, it definitely is not attracting the um, or retaining the viewers they would like to retain. So that's just my takeaway from it. Uh, you know, again, I'm more interested in how the media is reacting to it how different news outlets try to spin the data depending on the position they're trying to take on the show. Um, so what do you think? Are you interested in Doctor Who Series 11? Do you think it's, uh, do you think these ratings are accurate? <laughs> I mean, it looks to me like it's a downward trend, but uh, again, maybe my math is off. Maybe I don't know how to math, but I think five is less than, than eight. Um, I don't know. So let me know in the comments. Uh, please subscribe to Clownfish TV for more pop culture news, reviews, rants, art videos, gaming videos, and more. This has been Neon. We'll talk later.